All right, we're live. Um, just whatever. You can curse all you want, but just, just at least now you know. Um, all right, just so for the for the viewing audience, we're going to um, – I do have one other player that should show up at some point. I think they might have technical difficulties. Um, they were very, very into showing up, so I have to imagine that they're just delayed. All right, so be on the lookout for somebody to join the stream, or if you don't mind. Uh, all right, so one of the first things, um, we will probably talk from the perspective of blue, but if you want to go ahead and join one of the colors over by red, we'll, um, oh, have, yeah. you, we'll have you just kind of generally play red. All right, so one of the first things, one of the first things that we had not done originally when I'd done it, when I started, like a first part of a play test. First part of the play test, they had actually um, positioned all the uh, elements. Okay, uh, so we had had we had had test players in here, and they they we didn't get very far because I had some stuff going on in my house. Um, so then, what I hadn't added was the dummies. Okay, so yeah. one thing I kind of one of the first rules I'm going to kind of go over is you know what it was a dummy. I mean a dummy. A dummy represents the kind of the electronic warfare involved as well as the intel. Uh, it's basically a fog of war, an additional fog of war element. Of course, your first fog of war element is the fact that you don't always, not all of the units are revealed. You don't know all the types at all times. Right? Mm -hmm. um, so what I want you to do is uh, take these dummies and mix them in uh, wherever you want behind this line. Here. Okay, and as I assume in cover, um, you can put them wherever you want. You can mix them in with the ones that exist. I'm not gonna watch you do it. All right. I'm sure, gonna do the, the only same. question is, do the those dummies need to conform with the stacking limit? E, e, yes. Otherwise, yes, 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 yes. And what was the stacking limit like? The stacking limit in a space is is six infantry. Uh, okay. And one and two vehicles. Okay. So they otherwise behave. That's another reason why it's kind of nice that everything generally behaves the same in movement. Yeah. The, um, now another thing um, is that for this scenario, we have a grab bag of toys here. There's a few things that are going to show up. Okay, so let me let me make a marker here of when things are going to show up real quick. Purple marker, pink marker, oh, pink marker. All right, so on this every every two turns something interesting. Well, let's just do every turn for this demo. Let's do every turn. All right, so for every turn, I don't need to mark it. All right, so you have a D10. Do you have all your dummies out? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. All right, so on turn, um, you know, again, by scenario, this is purely scenario. This isn't really a take that street rule. Um, I have a grab bag over here for you, okay? Uh, what I want you to do is take a D10 and roll it. And yeah, if you sorry, get a... I, I, I just quickly sent something to you before I forget. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm in. So you want me to take the ten and roll it? Roll it. Try to get a six, a six through ten. Oh, six three. Yeah. Okay. yeah, you did not. Okay, so that's fine. So let me roll mine real quick. Mm -hmm. And I did get it. So what I I get to get a toy this turn. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. And, and you're welcome to come over here and look if you want. You, you can kind of. Sure. So you roll it normally every second turn, right? Like mm, even turns. But any something. this is purely scenario. Again, this is not Ah, okay. This is, this is scenario. Yeah. Special rule. So okay. This is my special rule. So I get a lovely let's zoom in on here. Loitering munition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um so that could be interesting. Um, okay, and I would in, not know normally what you have. Right. Exactly. Okay. But we're gonna we're just playing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we are showcasing. Okay, so the interesting thing is that these basically can move anywhere. I mean they can move ten spaces without obstruction. Um 
the one thing about a loitering munition, let me look up if it's just on a Yeah, I would probably uh, assume yeah, they can be high. used anywhere on the map. Yeah, basically, but you have to move them, and, and leaders are the only ones that can move them, okay? Give me a second. Uh, okay. Let me, let me but just is describe it, it. Is it for the fact that you need to trace a path of movement because someone can shoot at them or something like that? There are, there are, we're not going to use it for this demo, but there are capability cards that you can introduce into okay. the game. And one of those sense. capabilities is, yeah, one of those capabilities is the ability to take out um, a drone or a loading munition. Um, and it's very, you know, obviously you have to play it at a certain time. Uh, yeah. I think during the movement phase. Let me, let me look at that real quick when you play this. Probably at the point where they can be used, right? Depending on. Yeah. The... Let me see if they mention that at all. But capability yeah, they give. Yeah, I think I would think it would be like at the first during movement, probably is where you use it, or or it might say any during any. Phase. What cards? Yeah, I, I guess the cards. If if you have capability cards, they probably can be used when the capability. Well, when a capability says they can. Yeah, probably. exactly. For flexibility, say. yeah. Um, so let me just speak out what some of those other ones that they were experimenting with are. Um, so one is uh, info ops, reduces the civilian density. Deception activity, adds additional dummies. ISR, removes dummies. Prepared demolitions, requires potentially requires a skill roll to demolish a structure. Killing all inside. Uh, a counter drone weapon, a drone jamming, drone hacking, chemical agents, mm -hmm. civilian sympathizers. Like so, this is where this is where the pro, you know the professional war gamer in you can experiment. Like the capability cards, which we're not again, we're not introducing anything other than oh, other, yeah. than, our, other than our little toy bag. That's my sure. little capability that I've added. Um, okay, so so one thing is that the now let me put this here and. So interestingly enough, one thing that comes up, and you're welcome to kind of look at it. You, I mean, you're already seeing my pieces anyway. So the leader is the only one that can control this. The one thing I don't know is if it has to have line of sight. You would think you would have to have at least. Be, well, it's going to be. It's going to be high. It's going to be a high, a high altitude I, thing anyway. But I, I would I assume think, he does not need to have right, because for he has the television. You, you have yeah. yeah, you have radio with maybe maybe depending on technology level. Right, I'm assuming they. I, I think the ones. Yeah, I assume it has camera it has and camera, the guy right. is just hiding. In right, a building, I'm assuming right? he's hiding in this building that in a way. Or on the can... rooftop with the, there might be some requirement. Yeah, you're right. That the guy need to be on the rooftop, right? Or you're right. If it's right, good. just for the radio equipment involved and whatever. Yeah, to right. to have like command line of sight, yeah. but if so it's a good we'll radio, say. you might be doing it from the building, as I said. You know, the one thing the I needed, right? the one thing I needed to do was, let me just use, let me reuse the pink marker. The pink markers are going to be the fact that they're on the second floor. Okay. So, so this leader is on the second floor and he's going to be doing this guy. All right. Okay, but okay, because <clears throat> this is you. You pull it. You roll and pull it in w what phase? It's it's Doesn't, kind of like and the uh, third phase, I, or is it at the beginning of the? Time? Probably the admit, it, we would probably do it in the administration. Yeah. Okay. So you just yeah, show me how it works. I, take, taken from the sequence of play, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I got it here. I mean, honestly, I could probably even. Okay. I could probably. You know, it probably makes more sense that I don't get it until the first admin phase so that's let's let's just put it here and we'll, we'll i i get this one at the end of the turn okay just okay. make it simple anyway. just make it simple sure uh i mean you could very well just if you do special rules you could say that you do it before the first movement of the first turn or something like that I don't need, you do it, no, it should moving. be somewhere it should be yeah somewhere i would in the probably in the end, like at the end probably at the end you you get it and receive it in the end. Whatever. We don't need it right now anyway. You don't have any APVs or anything on here, so right. you're not gonna you're not gonna loiter munition and infantry element. But I guess yeah, I guess you technically. Do. All right, but um, hey, we'll try that out later. Yep. All right. Uh, so we got the dummies out. <clears throat> so now we go by the sequence of of play here. Let me see if anybody is joining, asking me something here. So uh, that's you. Okay. Hold on, come on. All right. All right, so first things first. Um, <clears throat> blue goes first. This is the sequence, and these are actually movable, right? Blue and red. Mm -hmm. So your scenario, you're, you yeah. either, your scenario. Okay. 
can say who goes first. But then, of course, the intern is always behind each one, right? Well, of course. Um, everybody's unrevealed to start with. Uh, for firefight phase, for firefighting, uh, for, for fires, um, you do have to be revealed, okay? You cannot, you cannot, you can target an unrevealed, and that's when you do the non-auto spot. That's when you do the spotting, right? The spotting okay. sequence that we've talked about recently. Um, <clears throat> for spotting, we will use the spotting rules from the rule book. But I did, I did make, I did create a basic house rule for it, just in case we flub up on it and we, or we feel weird about it or something. Right, but we'll go with the book for start. All right, so let's. Um, I'm gonna use another cube here. Let me color it something like a yellow or something. Give me a second, just to kind of mark where we're at. Okay, so right here we're on movement for blue. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quick and kind of, kind of quick and dirty here. Um, my goal is to get somebody, an element, into this room. All right, there's a high value target in this area. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe in a more advanced scenario, I would have to maybe re reconnoiter it first, you know, and then figure out which building the high value target is in. It might be a little bit more interesting, but, you know, whatever. Sure, as there might be a lot of scenario. Right. The, the high so, value target is in this building. It's, it's supposed to be in this room. It might be in the other. How about that? We give you yeah. Sure. All right. Um, so let's just start moving things. So we're in the movement phase. I'm going to pull up my playbook real quick, which I've been kind of starting. All right. So what are the phases? Movement phase. The, the active side moves their blocks either three spaces or up to three spaces. Basically, you always get to do you always get to go one. Right. Mm -hmm. If you hit if you run into cover or obstacle, then you have to stop basically. So I'm gonna just start yeah. this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you when I would have stopped. Okay, but I'm gonna just start moving towards towards you. I'm gonna start from here. Um, for a uh, a yellow aperture like this, there is a maximum of how many folks can two. Do it. I, I think it was two. Yes, you are right. correct. So at a maximum, two people could come out this way. So one. This is one. Yep. This is two, and I would stop. Why? Because this has cover. In it. Yeah, it, it has cover. Right, and so as, as we said, no diagonal movement. And right. yeah, my se my second thing would be you... Do you need to move in stacks, or can you move them separately one at a time? That's... I mean, you basically... Um, only if you want to. I mean, it's your turn anyway, so there's not. Yeah, I know because it's important for. If you want to keep fire. Yeah, I yeah, think. absolutely. If you want to keep them together, yes. So that's kind of why I did that. And then this guy's going separate, and he's but he is so that's one, and he is going to come over here. Um, that you've made a good point though. Okay, when um when a marksman or a sniper tries to reveal you and fire at you right mm -hmm. um they have to pick one element in the space when okay. a when a rifle or a uh, nmg or, or an lmg and any other basically small arms fire element a leader yeah. as well they are firing on everybody in that space yeah. they, they basically fire at a space not at the you right and there's also a beaten path involved, okay? Mm -hmm. So for an LMG and an MMG, as well as I think for, I think for MBT, I, I know MBT does, has a concussive nature to it. Yeah. So it's also like if we ever get a tank in here and they fire, there's like a, there's a bunch of dust that occurs and there's potential casualties on, in certain zones too, okay? Yep. So that's, it's really cool. Um, Okay, so that was a move. Let me just kind of quick move some of these other ones. I'm just kind of slowly, um, I'm just going to slowly move them forward here. This is a, uh, actually, these are walls, so sorry about that. So one, uh, okay. one, yeah. two. Uh, I'm just going to move them over and sit here for now. One, two, three. And the maximum number into a green, I think I did right this It's time. four. Oh. Correct. It I is remember four. it was four, four move, two and then, to shoot, and then it was two, two move and one to shoot for the yellow. For a firefight, I'm looking at my playbook. 
page slide six, only one element may fire through a yellow, up to four elements may fire through a green. Oh, so, four elements can yeah, fire yeah, yeah. through green. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought only two. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like half mm -hmm. of the moving and, guys. Um, right, uh, Ed was thinking of possibly making those equal, but don't worry about that. Um, we'll get to those. <laughs> one, two, three. The leader is coming up, blah, blah, blah. You don't know that, though. You, you can kind of this is probably not the best idea, but we're undercover, right? We're kind of bunched yeah. up. Uh, these guys will start coming forward. Um, we want to get this guy out. We're going to bring the dummy out and make it look like there's somebody there with him. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this is up to four here. We're going to move out. Probably not the greatest idea to bring everybody out, but who cares? One, two, three. Well, as long um, as you have... This is a bad idea. No, I'm just going to show you that this that's, is a That's a bad idea, yeah. Um, Although so, there is no... Right. Like my guys. So I don't it. think there's anybody there. <laughs> but the problem, and I just want to show you that everybody uh, that's watching is that this is, I mean, up to but 10... If, that, if there was someone here, that might be a problem for you. Mm, if, you, from, if you from do, here, yeah, they well, your cars here that are over. You have but, cars, all oh, right, but this is but this, this is, is bad one. because they can all they will auto spot up to ten, okay, in the open. These are open. These yeah. roadways are these road squares are open cover or excuse me, open terrain. All right, so I would probably just very quickly whatever. I this is, this actually is the same building, so I'm just gonna do this. And lovely that this is now laid down. Let's see. It is Overwatch marker here that got lost. <laughs> um, we'll just keep it out there because we're probably going to need it anyway. Ah, okay. Or you will probably. Um, more than anybody. Um, okay, one, two, three. Not a good idea. One. Let's go one. And we have to stop because it's cover, right? Yep. So it's pretty, I like it. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple rule set for movement. These guys, you don't know they're not infantry, they're dummies. Okay, that's about it for moves. Okay, so let's so we were now we're now into the action phase. And I'm gonna bring up my you might want to look at the screen while we while I bring this up. I'm bringing up my playbook to the actions just to kind of show <clears throat> we'll go through this a little slower than normal, just to kind of tell people what we can do here. Right? I'm gonna read through it. Um so let's start with leader actions, what leaders can do uniquely. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, well, let me go one more up. You can, we can actually deploy smoke. Uh, infantry hand smoke, grenade launcher, UGL, or um, uh, under gun launcher. Um, uh, under, under barrel grenade launcher. Uh, for vehicle smoke discharges, I think, I think what Ed Farron had said was that this may have been taken out of the rules. That's whatever. I, I think it was becoming fiddly and it was going to take that out. AFV smoke generation. I, um, uh, actually, it might have been this. It might have been the generators that he took out because it was a little bit too excessive. Uh, smoke yeah. rounds. Uh, MBTs and mods can fire a smoke round instead of like a heat or a sabo. And uh, in effect, if they have line of skype, if they have unobs unobscured line of sight, they can hit it. So they don't have to spot at all to plant it. So if they wanted, so if an MBT was here and they wanted to plant it over here, they could yeah. just plant the, plant the smoke around there. And then yeah, the cool. way the smoke is handled uh, is, I'm gonna go ahead and just act like I had. If I had an MBT out here or a mall and I fired one here, uh, there's a chance that you, I think there's a slight, actually for, for MBTs, it's pretty, it's accurate. Um, for grenade launchers, there's a slight chance that it will it will go to an adjacent square. Well, okay. All right. Another thing with smoke and smoke um, is an obscurement, um, so it does take um, uh, it does obscure. Let me think about this for one second. I think it's mostly. Uh, let me go look at that real quick. I, what I can't tell, what I can't remember, is if it. I, I would assume that it blocks line of sight entirely yeah I would, assume I, also, well, I, I would assume it too that it blocks um, it, line of sight and if you uh if you trace line of sight into the hex it obscures targets or something like that 
Right. It's also for spotting. Um, it's a negative modifier. Uh, each smoke, each smoke or dust modifier disrupts line of sight, basically spotting. Um, so it isn't so interesting. So it definitely affects spotting. But let me check line of sight real quick because I don't know if it's it's if true disrupting. I think if if, if, they if don't. If the uh, line of sight is interrupted by the terrain, print again. I again, mean, it, if if they don't grade the amount or type of smoke, it should probably just block line of sight. Right. Really. It, it's. Um, I personally, we we can play around with that as a hash rule. We, we can play around with that and show it. Yeah, because it depends probably depending on the number of grenades. Right. I would say probably amount so. of smoke. Another thing to realize is, let's go look at the playbook real quick. Um, For the simplicity, there are, it should just block. There, there is an advanced rule to where supply is actually um, tracked. OK, um, we're, we're not going to use it. Of smoke, yeah. Sure. So down here, if you look down here, it actually is one of the tracking resources, right? So so what they do is, for the scenarios, they, they give one smoke basically one smoke per element of infantry. Some might have more, who knows. Um, but if you have like a Humvee with um, with a grenade launcher, you probably might yeah, get, yes. get more yes, yes, for yes, the yes, scenario. Yeah. Um, yeah. They kind of, it's really, this is actually very easy to track. Another thing down here is the troop quality. Okay, for the, for these are British, yes. this is a British rifle platoon 2020s. Uh, this is given a C rating. I would personally mm -hmm. probably give them a better rating. But, uh, um, and then this uh, Soviet, excuse me, Russian 2020s is given a D, right? And that's really just used to give you a number that's used later in the rules, right? Sure. Just will show. It's um, used for rallying. I think there's one or two other situations. I think there's... There are some I think it's just, there's a quality things. checks or something yeah, like just, that. Yeah. Um, so let me take this marker exist so I've moved everything um, my actions I don't have this this is not here yet otherwise I would have moved it um, yeah let's go through the other actions you can do just real quick so we talked we covered smoke uh, other actions for a leader they can direct fire action. You might want to watch the video part. Uh, direct fire actions. Leaders may take a turn to help their subordinates target an enemy. Uh, so basically, they can basically help help guide fire of their subordinates. Okay. So okay. they can take. In other words, they're they're foregoing other actions of their own, and they're helping mm -hmm. helping others um, yeah. directing fire sure. right? ultimately. Mm -hmm. All right. So the other leader actions our target indication now if we had a vehicle out here right uh, yeah. vehicle vehicles cannot spot infantry in cover if they're head down okay, okay. by default by default vehicles are operated with the tc or the tank commander head down um okay so what this is useful for is you know obviously you get your apvs or mbts or, or, or APVs up, up and in it, right? You know, to get them into yeah, the action. But sure. but you got to watch out for for anybody with an ATGM, right? Or, or law yeah, or mall. So that, that so sense. right. So and they're gonna want to operate heads down in case they got people shooting down on them. Ultimately, right? Otherwise, within sure. okay. So okay. the leader can position himself in a place where he can basically point them out. Point point infantry out in cover to to that vehicle I, it's one space it's one space and then that vehicle can target that in the in the firefight stage okay let me, let me check one thing on that let me see one thing in target indication i think it's just for revealment yeah uh, must have line of sight. Reveal the leader. Roll a d10. Seeking to roll equal to or under the initiative rating. If successful, the target can be engaged by the vehicle. I don't know if that's immediate or just. I don't know if it's immediate. I need to check on whether it's immediate or it's just far. It's just the fact that they can do it in the firefight phase. All right, whatever. It might be immediate. I would think it might be immediate because otherwise it's going to be hard to track. 
Yeah, yeah. I think that's the right way. It's kind of like a freebie, and that's why you're kind of giving up. You're almost mm-hmm. giving up an action by the leader. To do it. All right. Keep it on running. Keep on going here. Uh, they can assume command. Makes sense. We, we're not gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this if we have to do that. And they're the ones, they're the only element that can take over control of a drone or an LM activity in turn. And then that's at the expense of committing any other actions, any other moves or firefights. So, you know, them them controlling and or coordinating the use of drones, um, you yeah. know, takes up takes up their logistic capabilities and their support capabilities. All right, so that's actions for the leader. And then there's some other actions we can do. And we'll come back to this as we need to. You can start a fire. You can mount or dismount. You can breach a wall. So for example, there is a there is a, a rat hole. Um, is that the right name for it? Yeah. yeah. Rat hole aperture. Uh, basically the black colored apertures, but hold on. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Give me one second, because I want to use the right term. No entry permitted. Where are your apertures? Where are the apertures? Here we need to go. Potential future apertures. They're like rat hole apertures, right? They're they're yeah. holes in the wall that they've made for snipers and marksmen to fire out of, basically. Yep. And that's basically what they're that's what they're used for. From the interior, a sniper can use can use this to target mm-hmm. to firefight. Okay, uh, that's that. Um, let me just go through real quick the rest of those. Uh, you can place a ladder, uh, which will help you get to a second floor from the outside of a, of a building. Uh, you can traverse a wall decoy if, you, if that's what you prefer. Uh, you can treat and or move casualties. So this is a really this is a very unique aspect of this of this game. I, I love this rule. Um, I don't know if you're looking at the screen, but in, yeah, in effect, do. in effect, the results from the results from a firefight. Um, can result in casualties uh, as instead of directly going to KIA. Um, okay. And you need to have medical. We don't actually have medical units on here, so everybody's going to, everybody should shit out a lot. Um, but medical support elements, right? Or anybody with like, right. you know, a, a cross, a red cross on them or whatever, they yeah. are yeah. able to, they're trained to, um, to stabilize uh, casualties and, and, um, they're, they're trained to stabilize and monitor casualties. Okay, so sure. for any for any one casualty marker, which would replace an element, instead of an element going away, you you're you're replacing it with potential casualties. Normally, you're not necessarily wiped out, right? And the um, the rules do show that. Um, let me show you that chart as far as the results. Uh, where are we there? Yeah, right here. The fire attack resolution table right here on the left. If you're looking at the screen, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Um, again, there's a there's a chance to hit, right? Which is one right. aspect, and then you reuse the chart to find out if there's wounding. Definitely. Um, pretty much, pretty much at any time, if you hit, you're gonna suppress, which is really cool. I like that. Um, okay. And then there's a level of minor or major casualty, or a kill. There, this says kill. This says casualty kill. PIA. You can't see it because they did the same mm-hmm. thing. Um, that's that. So that's that's easy, right? I like it. I really like this. You, you, you try to hit, and then you try to wound, and then it tells you the level of the casualties. Um, yep. So then, so then by um, here's your two hit modifiers too. While we're sitting here, um, mm-hmm. I'll give you an idea of what 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 increases your chance to hit. Vehicle stationary, directed uh, firing at a directed target. This is from that leader action, right? Uh, mm-hmm. troop, if your troop, here's where troop quality does come into play. So if we're better than the other, than the element, the target element, then we get a bonus. Um, and if they're, fi- if you're the, tar- if you're the fire and your troop quality is less, you get a negative. Uh, f- and here's where the smoke comes into play. For each smoke marker or cluttered terrain um, that does not block line of sight. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't. So I, what I think maybe potentially. 
is it should I think for infantry smoke block should block here, here's lines. the thing in, in most games and it what makes probably the most sense it blocks line of sight to every unit or, or it blocks line of sight to the spaces beyond the smoke or you know behind the smoke and it but in the hex where smoke actually is it just reduces the chance to hit if if you have let, yeah let, I, I get it yeah let, I mean, let we can, me yeah, we, can yeah. we can we can play around with that as much let as me want. let me give you an example right so let's say we have situation like this and what is a smoke marker or something that can let's let's pretend this is smoke right oh okay or the, or, or we not I would do this like this so here, here you have smoke and let's say you have you need here let's say this guy so he would he would not see this unit and to right. this unit he would have hindered well right and that's kind of that's that, that what makes yeah. sense to me kind yeah, of that, so that's basically what they're doing and let, let's play the rules as written the rules as written is that it, it basically obscures um, okay oh so it only ob obscures the visibility yeah we need to get some clarity on that because what i think with an you MBT, know if if with... i would be picky i would make two types of smoke like there are dense, there are dense, there's, ah, there are there's, okay there's like should... there's like standard right standard infantry grade and then there's the ir potential there's the ir blocking from from only from mbt smoke smoke Launchers, uh, okay yeah right? because i would make like smoke and dense smoke where yeah. normal smoke would only obscure you and dense smoke would block well what they one interesting behind. thing is they do have a flip of this they actually have a, a dispersing okay. smoke hold on that's a rack i didn't put this i don't think I, oh here it is right <laughs> here this is the this is the building and there is a building and um there is a building uh you know, where were you all right. So what you do with this is you you put this out the first turn and then it stays okay. and you and it disperses. Uh, okay. Oh, so, so I think I mean ultimately the smoke to build up. Okay. Yeah, I don't. From what I can tell, it doesn't. I. <laughs> it blocks line of sight. I mean, it kind of refers to it too. So I, I think the only thing they're saying is that. Let me see something again. Let me read it one more time. Negative one. Each smoke dust marker or clutter between fire and target that does not. um i don't know i think maybe what they're think. i think what they're differentiating is the you know the smoke launchers on a on an mbt are very thick they're they're dense smoke you know those block those are yeah it's the, that built. are larger they're specifically on, on the built to that are... and they're they yeah they are the, red the, well. they basically also larger because it's like yeah around it's like a, like bunch a of canister there, around yeah, that yeah. is probably why sort of three times larger right. so um hand grenade we don't have any mbts out here yet or if at all who knows the bags might have them um and um yeah we'll play it by here i don't get too too strong up on it all right so i think we're good i, I don't think really ultimately first of all this guy's going to be back where was this where was this here i think um yeah i'm pretty sure he was here so you may okay at this point we go to firefight i don't have anybody automatically I, I don't have anybody that's unobscured at this point right so just kind of make mm -hmm. a do a fact check with me there all right now you get to okay so now we're at the at this point i would remove any suppression markers um which we are going to use the advanced rule which actually puts you into a disrupted mode when you're in disrupted you have to rally in order to be to take an action okay okay that's where a leader can help all right so um i can't remember if it's in the same you have to be in the same square for that you get that bonus for checking it all right either, either um, on the same or adjacent depending probably on let the me go system. look at that real quick <laughs> let me just we're gonna, probably gonna need to use that right, so depending if it's based on uh asl or yeah, the lack and low series <laughs> What just happened? Somehow I did a. I don't know what the. All right. Somehow I copied and pasted something. Um. Disruption. Instead of removing suppression, suppression markers flip to disrupt. Disruption represents a residual level of interference. 
It's known it's an unknown quantity to both players and will not be determined until that element is ordered to do something. An element may fail the rally. Okay, so then here's the at the end of the player turn element is aiming to roll a target of their initiative level modified by positively like cover, moderate cover, hard cover. And then each leader if a leader is present, you have to be present. You have to be present in the space. If it's adjacent, you get a little bit less. You see this right here? Yeah. Right there. Right, so you were right. You were right, but uh, it's I like that. It's a, it's a little bit. It's, cool. I, it I already think about like you know cards and special options because depending on the technology, maybe and and radio communication, you might extend it with with some special abilities, right? All right. So this leader, um, he's still waiting for his loitering ammunition to show up. It's coming from off map. <laughs> okay, be ready. It's coming for you. Um, all right, so administratively at this point, uh, we had we would have removed, we, we, we would have removed any suppression markers, changed them to disrupt. Um, and then there would have been close quarter combat resolution, CQB. Okay, so if you're in the same square as the enemy, okay. it's a little bit of a different sequence, but it's still pretty simple. At this point, we do administration. We adjust the markers and tracks. Uh, we, we're not in a new turn yet. Now it's to you for movement. All right, so go ahead and just take your time and move and just talk me through it. I'll, I'll come over. Yeah, I, I would assume. Okay. And again, I'm gonna, uh... I'll, I will very likely forget where everything is, but it's very interesting how many dummies. I like, I like this one for one ratio. Okay, let me look at the situation. So I would probably... Okay, is this cover space, by the way? Yes. The the anything, one with a lot with of... <laughs> anything with stuff. Okay, so they would need to finish here, right? If they move. Because they, they can't move here, because this is a black. So they would probably do something like this for a moment. Oh, and I think this is like, I, I don't, because I remember there were rules. No, I assume here is blocked, right? Ah, okay, you're, you're busy, fine. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm trying to get Hero to come in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know he's okay, in. so let me see. Uh -huh. They would move here. They would move here. And it's okay. Don't don't worry about making mistakes or anything or getting any. No, I I'm just, just moving forward. like like crazy. Okay, that's how I probably would move, and I would stop at this. All right, let me. Because this, I, I assume this is blocked. The, this well, is yes, nitpicking, but this is this is a, this is a this is the this wall, and that's show. it. Okay, sure. Yeah, and then this is just showing you, this is showing you line of sight obstacles on the wait on the roof itself. Okay. So this is interesting. That okay, you cannot. This is hmm, this is probably a flat roof, and I don't understand. I don't know why they wouldn't have a. a I think it's just a, whatever. It's just a omission. Uh, uh, I think, there, I think there, there would be stairs on this, but if you want to go to, uh, I, 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 I would treat this, this as industrial. This might not have if it's. I think it might. What they building, might be saying. But, yeah, no, we know be, if if it's one story like office building, you would not have stairs going to the roof. I assume. If someone needed to go to the roof, there would be stairs outside, or there you would need a ladder. Well, I right. Think. Maybe that's what it is. And I don't know if they're trying to depict like large ACs and power units. Yeah, as up here, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, for, to me, that should have a stairway. Maybe maybe that was intended supposed to be. A it stairway. depends on the building, I guess. Yeah. See, you should have one of these. One of these like this. Yeah, I know. But from um, what well, I these see, are no, no building with. Uh... Actually, this is a flat building. You can get yeah. on top of this. You can get on top. Of I'm sorry. There was a different rule that said that. You can get on a flat routing. It's these right here that you can't 
these, yeah. these angled yeah, these yeah, yeah, residentials, angled. which makes sense because you know, unless you're a roofer, you're not going to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to have any stability for firing any. Yeah. Um, so go for it. Keep going. Just keep just keep plugging. No, I I would just move them like yeah. this okay. because That's I fine. assume I'm the one defending. You're defending. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, so all I do and any I okay, so now we're in actions. Uh, I can let me just run down the list real quick, try to get in our heads what you can do. You can deploy smoke, you can direct fire action as a leader, you can target an indication. You're not really doing that, you're not assuming command, you're not drawing loitering, you're not starting a fire. I hope, uh, mount or dismount, breaching a wall, placing a ladder, treating casualties, no nope. guarding, escorting POWs, interacting with civilians, fighting a fire. Off map support. We don't have any for this scenario. I would probably um, w w would like to make hole in this wall, but we can. Uh, you, if you have a marksman there, you can use it. I mean, nah, I can. You're use able it. to use okay. it. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. I don't. I think that's the intention. Okay. You know what? Ignore. Yeah. That, that's probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. was the intention. So you're able to sit there. You don't have really good lines. No, I, I would assume I could blow hole here to move guys later. If you outside, had, but if you had would, somebody with that capability, which the okay. law guy could, I guess. <laughs> if the law yeah, guy I don't know really, how it, I I would assume the there's gonna be uh, there would be infa the infantry elements. has some. Yeah, because I don't know these capabilities in real life. If infantry just has well, we can, some uh, C4 okay. to. What we can say is that a leader can do it. A leader can arrange for it. How about that? Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, can, if you can get a leader in there, you can do it, right? Um, okay, just ignore it for now. I, I, I mean, you got a green aperture over here just to walk out of it. Sure, yeah, I I, I move. I walked out, guys. If anything, yeah, if anything but, but through it's here, I could, They can't fire I could into it. Up here, but, yeah, okay, but that's fine. That's that's okay. Well, that's, that's the benefit. The benefit of this is you can fire out of it, but nobody can fire into it. Yeah, okay, let's let's not overthink it right now then. Alright. Let's just Alright, so you're done. Go forward. Yeah, let's say I'm done. Then I go to right. firefight we'll and there is fire no firefight fight because no well, one Okay uh... here let's just check this. This uh, again just for This I mean, guys would be at... here. Yeah, there are show... there are a lot of obstru obstructions here between them. I, I would assume they have no line of sight. Right. And you need to do it from the center. That's what I'm going to yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Center to center, so there is no line obstructed. of sight. Absolutely. Right. Here you wouldn't be, but you definitely buy trees here. Yeah, but the amount of trees here is enough. These guys, though, I mean, because I, I now spotted this is the second story building, right? So I could... See, uh, okay, but this but yeah. this is three story building, so I mm -hmm. won't be able definitely to see beyond that, right? This is mm -hmm. this is blocked. Okay, so never mind. God, this is a death trap here. All right. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean like right here. So I need to give you something to think about here. All right, so you're done, done, right? You're all the way through administration. Yeah, I would move. I would move these guys if they didn't <clears> start it. I would move them to the second story. But all I right. So what that not... does is it comes to the, we we get to the end turn, which basically means my my loitering ammunition ammunition mm -hmm. shows up, which is basically just the equivalent of drone as well. Let me see if I gotta flip it. All right. I'm gonna put it here just because it can move anywhere anyway. All right. So you're done, right? You're done, done. Yeah, I'm done. So All we right, are. So we you, are go, ending this you go way back here. All right. Uh, so By the way, scenarios on. normal. Normally, scenarios play for the specific number of turns or to specific yeah. objective. Not either or both. Yeah, okay. Um, if you kind of want to make it a little bit more angsty as far as getting casualties out and such. Then yeah. I would make it less, but I think by default it's. Hold on, let's go look. I think it's twenty. No, it's it's just how much the guy on the offense is. Uh, right, like how much time you have? Yeah, I mean, because at that... how much time you have to push forward, right? Because right. if you don't, you will be just. At least I would sneak for three turns <laughs> around or four. Yeah. It's all these very specific questions that are, should be simple, but no. Let's just go. I, I will read uh, it. The scenario has a defined number of turns. I, I think they they left it to be 
Um, or, or yeah, based this. on scenario, I bet. Yeah. The, you can modify it by scenario, All I right. guess. All right, so we're in turn two. Um, go ahead and roll for your toys real quick. Uh, okay. You got one. All right, so pull one from the bag and put it. And what did you get? I don't know. Oh, you got a drone. Drone. Got drone. I got drone. Yeah, I got drone. So you actually should be able to pull out. Let me let me go get. Let me get you your your low as well. Um, I don't know. Is that the low? Yeah, because I have drone high Shit. and I should I have whatever. drone low, right? Yeah. yeah. I okay. think. I think what I'll do next time is I'll just. Wait, I, I can find it. I got it right there. I just gave it to you. Ah, oh, oh, sorry. I I was looking the other way. Oh, come on, dude. Why is that not going in there? Um, ah, because I was searching okay. through it. All right, so okay. there's your high and low. All right. Um, high is when... I probably see a lot, but I'm um, easier to to shut down, right? <laughs> right, Something let's like go this. look at that again, because I need to know. Drones in high and LMs can observe a circle, as shown. Like, if you're going to fly your drone low to kind of stay out of... He can't do it spotting properly. Mm -hmm. um, not too. Drones in high and LM can only spot blocks in the open. Drones at low altitude can spot blocks in cover as well. So there is an opportunity uh, okay. to... Now, wait a minute. Well, what is that? as per normal line of sight from the location of the drone. State the target hidden opposing block. Uh, conducting attack of the drone. Depending on the capability of the drone, this may involve dropping ammunition or guiding the drone to a terminal attack. Use the appropriate template below. Okay, so then there's a template for, um, for the terminal attack. Terminal attack template, right? Player must select a strafing angle. So if you come in this way, you're going to end up there, there, there. Okay, cool. Very cool. And what is the, what is the capability of the drone? What is the terminal, what is the firepower of the drone? Okay, okay. Depending on the capability of the drone, okay. I think it. I think it was supposed to be provided. We'll, we'll treat it as. We'll treat it as the equivalent of an MBT round. Okay. So no. we'll, we'll treat it as the firepower of a, of a like a class three or four tank. It's, it's probably. The equivalent I, I, I will of try to read the rules next time also. <laughs> well, it's more than likely an HE round, right? I mean, it's not. It's definitely probably not like the equivalent of a. Say, but because of this, because of the speed, it has to be a high explosive. Well, the drone, no, it's it's probably yeah. some HE or or heat. If if we talk about suicide drones attacking right. vehicles, this is from what I've seen, it is mostly RPG round attached to it. Right, so it's, and it's just it's just the fact that they're able to get it down onto the the soft. Yeah, it's it's thing. like it's like RPG, <laughs> pretty much. From right, what I've but, seen. But choosing where it hits. Yeah, okay. Um. But All right, so you get this at the end of your turn, so let's just mark yep. that here. All right, so then it's my moves. I'm just going to get up here to make it nasty. Um, again, I can't really move too far. I, I'm, these guys are going to go here. 
Yeah. Go here. These guys go here. Yeah, that's um, where time constraint might might come into play, right? Because you will you will go through this woods good. <laughs> right. <laughs> and turns probably will... This way. I'm gonna start uh, enter the building. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So let me just do one, two. Hope people, hopefully you understand why I stopped there because, I mean, in other words, I went one and I was able to go into the cover for two, but I had to stop. Yep. Um, let's see, just gonna move this way. One, and two. I can't see this spaces, so one, I can't even two. bother to locate um, you. I, let's see. I think these guys are going to go up top too, so they're going to be on the top. Let me put a marker on there. Yeah. By the way, changing. Uh, oh, changing, you're right. You're going right. up the stairs costs it's, you like. It movement. does stop you. It just stops you. It's basically like oh, an obstruction. It's just, stop, it's just stop the equivalent of a cover, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Pretty sure that's what it is. Ed, correct me later. But yeah, sure. they because they need to clear it. Right. So these guys are up, beyond, upstairs now. Where the hell did I just put that marker? Oh. Uh, yeah, but can you do it after entering the building? That that was my question. This this move is free. Up to four people can go through here in a turn. So one. Uh, okay. Two, ah, okay. And, so and this is you're ah, right. so entering you're... building is not like <clears throat> entering cover. Then hold on a second. Let me think about this. I, I assume it is. Just let me think about this. So then these guys could not go this way. You're right. If you get up the cover, you can't get into it, right? Mm -hmm. No, actually, cover. Stops. I, I mean, they can enter. They can just go upstairs. I think. I I think you're right. This is not cover. It's just the fact that they can't. Do, they can only they can only do that as one move. Yeah, I, I think you're right. You're right. Um, it's not really cover. It's kind of like an obstructing terrain, really. All right. Um, yeah. That's... These guys, this guy's staying here because he's going to do the loitering munition. So where do I want to put that bad boy? I think I'm going to put him right over here, and then he can see them and cover if this... Mm, you know what? I don't think he can because he's a loitering munition. Let me check that real quick. I think it's oh, only so... the drone... I. Conducting attack. Conducting a spot with a drone on drones in high and LMs can only spot blocks. You know, drones at low may spot and cover. Uh, see, LMs can't. LMs can't warrior low. They're basically always high, so I can no. really only see yeah, things in the, in the, yeah, as they go sense. in the open. Okay. But what's yeah, cool here? Sense. I mean, probably. What's cool is if I can if I can get these guys over here. And he spots something. Um, let me think here. He's high, and these guys are not in the open. But as soon as they get in the open, they're gonna be revealed. Which they probably would have been revealed. Well, there's nobody in line of sight. That's the, that, that's the whole thing. This is giving me like a a better line of sight to you. All right, <clears throat> one, two, stop because it's cover. Mm -hmm. One this and this is going to let me go in with two people for the yellow we went through the window whatever because we didn't want to go through the door we went in through the outdoor like led zeppelin uh so this guy is busy operating the drone the one thing i did ask about that is whether or not he could kind of like let it loiter and move and and you know in other words is it going to just sit there and hover and he can reposition does he really need yeah. a reposition? Not really. But, but here's the thing. This is the cool thing about it. I'm making this choice to this. I probably shouldn't have, right? And the reason I shouldn't have is, well, there's no MBT out there yet, at least. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so, but now he can't rally. He can't spot for vehicle. You know what I mean? Like, you need to yeah. make, That's the cool thing about this game is you have to make choices. It, it gives you right. valid choices, valid, valid, realistic, tactical choices. It's pretty cool. Um, sure. Even though the movement's simple and all that, it's it's not there to simulate. The one thing that Ed highlighted to me, and I, and I, I, you know, in retrospect, I agree with. It's not a miniatures game, right? It's a no, it's not. It's it's a yeah. this is the condition you're in. You're moving here. You're ordering these people. You're not you're not doing the minutia of you know inches 
and so forth. yeah and, and rightfully so because you're trying they're trying to they're trying to show the cadet or midshipmen that you know don't yep. bunch up don't you know don't bunch up for too long only bunch up when you can yeah. do do quick movements when you know it's clear you smoke to cover and sure. obscure and all that um yeah. speaking of you know what i'm gonna rule one i'm gonna rule for it i'm gonna rule that for L, the smoke I, I i really feel like the smoke bars visibility other than thermal mbt do you yep. know what i mean that makes more sense yep. it just makes more sense it makes sure. the smoke much more useful i guess it and it's smoke, li- yeah much more than it just obscures it depends as, as I mean, I maybe that was the intention I'll, I'll i will get some clarity on that but but i think that it would not it would not it would not block line of sight of an mbt with an ir thermal sensor normal right. smoke no or, thermal yeah. or it's just as i said for, for smoke i have too little too little knowledge because not many books i think actually are, you know right i mean if you've seen talks somebody, about this topic right, you, you can find a lot about firepower and you know stuff, but obscurance i kind of i kind of agree <laughs> with you that like maybe three elements have to like all like at least at least three have to be in other words i i almost feel like you should stack the smoke and like one is an obscurement and then yeah, maybe and two three block. i think maybe i'm almost thinking three as I, I will tell you if you if you look the usage of smoke on any like yeah, combat just, movies it blocks everything yeah but it's then, but is it realistic? smoke you can't see but shit <laughs> beyond this right especially if you're in a building if you're in a building you pop smoke right. definitely that's just that's just shit. you know you can't see anything but you if you're outside and there's wind, if you've seen yeah, that, you've, that's uh, because it depends yeah, a lot of also on the wind and on the weather. Yeah. All right, so whatever. So um, we're going to say it, we're going to say it blocks line of sight. We're, we're going to say it blocks line of sight. It dissipates and you only yeah. have a certain amount of it. So we actually probably should be eventually using that here. Make sure and call me out to use it. Um, so this is a good scenario because it kind of allows you to be somewhat static and still watch everything um i think i moved everything so i'm done with movement actions he's still expending a control um let me see these guys are not in the open though that's the thing that's the bet that's why i mean an lm is there for a certain purpose right drones are more capable i think what this is showing is that drones are more capable for obviously observing the LMs weren't necessarily built for that. They can and they do, right? Yeah. I like that. It's a subtle, it's a subtle differentiation, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I'm assuming we're doing it right. All right. So these guys are on the second floor. Oh, I do want to move these guys up, and I mean up, really. And then does that? Okay, so you're in cover here, but I think I would, we would, I would see you, right? Mm -hmm. It's auto, it's, it's unobstructed to it. And there is no, these are bushes, not trees, right? What, how would you rule that? I mean, you would say that this is auto. Uh, oh man, depending on the side, I guess these are bushes. I'm talking like center here, just center. Ah, from here, yeah. I I would assume it only blocks like. I would assume uh, it would only block me if I'm down here. But I'm up. I'm yes, up level probably, well, right? probably right. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna rule if that's that's visible. But then, do you auto spot me? Not necessarily, right? No, not necessarily. Because of the, are we? So I spot you. Um, which basically. Oh, they're dummies, you shit. <laughs> <laughs> so they go away, by the way. Yeah. If, um, if you have to spot mm-hmm. me, yes. And I hey, what's don't... that? Wait a second. Oh, no, it's nothing. Was... Raccoons. <laughs> Someone's cat. <Raccoons? scared. laughs> Someone's cat. Just jump. Um... <laughs> what's that? Oh, it's just a pickpocket. He's still operating, and even though uh, my military operations are all around him, yeah, he is. He thought it was a good opportunity. 
Yeah. Um, all right, I think that's these guys. Is this a wall in here? I guess these are two separate. Damn, I should have spent more on my rent <laughs> and knocked the wall out. Uh, yeah, so I'm kind of screwed here. Uh, let me go this. This is a bad choice. I'm just showing you it as a bad choice. Sure. Uh, one. Two. Yeah, I assume. I guess he, these guys are downstairs. Well, uh, they, yeah, right. But they're not on Overwatch. Unless you. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they are not on Overwatch. How do you give Overwatch? It's instead of movement, it's in the movement phase or some end phase. Well, actually, you just you just um, pointed out something that I was wondering is because you know does Overwatch yeah, but this, stay... does it cost you something? Yeah, like... it costs your action. You can't do anything else. Okay, uh, and okay. you can't do firefight either. But but is movement action? That's that's my question. Is it in lieu no. of movement or is it yes, just it is. fire Overwatch. fight? Overwatch or during is. fire fight, I can do it instead of firing. That's no. because I would give them um, Overwatch. No, no. You, right? you, it's when I move, you can Overwatch. Now the real question is the big question is when does that? I think maybe Overwatch stays until uh, this is the thing. Maybe Overwatch stays until the movement, your next movement, because because you have to it commit. It. You, have to, you have to commit. It. You have to. It stays until you have another action, really. Ultimately. Yeah, I would assume this. Yeah, that's it's okay. A stance so you didn't do it. You, you didn't do it. Else. But if you had done it right here, if you had done it on turn one during that phase, then you would be in yeah. a fire moment. Yeah. Now the real question, though, is did we see? Here's the thing. Here's another thing. You know, you spot when I'm, you spot at the end of my move, but wouldn't we auto spot each other right here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, we not... would, but you are moving, so. Now, here's, here's, here's the question. Is auto spotting at any time during movement, or is it only while you're firing? I, I, I would assume it is. In other words, we're both revealed to each other then, I think, at this point, right? Probably like yes. As we, as we, I I need as to read we... because oh because it's three spaces oh it's actually four spaces yeah because but we have me. right it's about four but it's, yeah one one two three four but I mean so in other words I came out here right I think yeah, yeah so you would see... I assume you you ended here right but now's the question I'm not ending I'm not ending here I'm ending in here <laughs> ah okay so sorry you're ending in here because what what was the distance distance you see to set to auto spot is in cover is like five. well right in other words you would have been able to hit me if five you were, if if you were in overwatch we would have you would have been able to do yeah it. let's let's assume I would be in overwatch right so just to see how it works all right that's fine Lots so go ahead and... so because wait the, the moment you would end here no, no, no. We you, would you can do it you can do it at any point in my movement that's... yeah but the question is do we spot each other from here he's on second floor he yeah um, yeah I think so so we would reveal the moment you enter here we reveal each other right because last, the spotting that was the first part of this turn yeah so the spotting you're... occurs yeah the, yeah the, the that's question. my next that's my main question is is, is spotting, spotting occurs automatically... at any time yeah it's at any time that you're within those ranges or is it only at the end of your movement i would have to imagine yeah that. i i would assume at the end of the movement mm. unless unless you create a rule where you need to move a stack I, it's it's kind of a gamey thing but here's the thing you move you start here right with everyone so ah what happened <laughs> you, you know what i what i'm getting at uh, yeah, the I, thing I is that that you would say, oh, I get this guy, move here, we see each other, and then you do something else with the stack, right? As the part of the same turn. So either you need to move in stacks or you need to finish your movement. I would say at the end of the movement, when you I finish all you of check, your movement. I would, check, I would say you check spotting at the end of the movement. Yeah, I would say also it makes more sense to me because otherwise people will, will tend to gay me by moving. Uh, uh, or you the, say you move the stack, but I, I would. My, my assumption though is that you can interrupt my movement at any time with with an Overwatch fire. 
Yeah, that's the whole thing. That's the whole yeah. point. I mean, that's a, that's uh, what that's what makes me wonder about that because I think I think you just have to judge it. <laughs> I think you just have to judge <laughs> it. I mean, like in other words, these guys are especially is... what happens if I interrupt your movement of dummies. Well, then they get they they you go move, away. You move, let's say the lar- large pack of dummies. They just would, move yeah. away, and but they move away, and I reveal my unit to you. Yeah. Yes. Just, just I reveal it, and you revealed. Oh, and bunch this of one dummies. too. Yeah, but this one goes away too. This dummy goes. Yeah, away. I know, I know. But you get but a shot. At dummies. <laughs> um. No, I have no, one. Other I, one. There was one other one here. Yeah, but there's, let there's... me let let me give you an example. Uh, you have one dummy here, right? I had give one. Yeah, like... it's gone. Because you revealed it. Okay, you so auto revealed it. I mean, okay, so let let me let me just show you one situation. Okay. Sorry, I, I will move them to the side. Give me two of your dummies. Oh. You would have revealed them, and they would have just gone away. Yeah, right. But and he, I think it needs to thing. be auto. I think it needs to be automatic. Wow. Yeah, you're... but here's here's the thing. It it is automatic, but you can then probe enemy with dummies. Uh huh. You can just move dummy and, yay! I reveal and you well, say, "Haha, dummy, go away," because this they... way I will just. I, here's my problem. I will just create in this instance like first line will be only dummies. I will be moving them forward. They will show me your position, and that's it. And I will reveal your dummies and remove your dummies, and then I will move with my forces with a full knowledge what you have without sacrificing anything. Yeah, well, I'll talk to him about it. <laughs> I mean, wow, what's the, how do you stop that? You yeah, know, I'm thinking dummies. about it. I mean, they're, just, they're just dummies. They can't... You another, can't really another... stop that unless you have I mean, limited they, they number of turns. They can't fire. Time to operate. They can't. Yeah, they can do nothing. But right, I mean, can... just as you move, yeah, I mean, you, that's the problem. Yeah. I mean, there aren't that many, and I, for the attacker, there aren't that many. So I spread them out a little yeah, bit. Okay. Ah, you, you don't have them. Okay, no, that, that that might prevent it, okay, if you if you have little. Well, I'm very, using it as buffer. Useful. I'm using it as making you think right. there's more people in a certain area. Yeah, but, but if they can I, spot. They... <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. That's <laughs> if, a very good first point. Of all, that I don't think they should be able to auto spot. They should be able to auto spot, but then the no. only limiting limiting thing might be the. Let me go check that real quick. Let me yeah, go check, check it. Quick, because... That you can't play the dummies alone, but then they are very limited in usefulness. <clears throat> right? If you can, if you can't place them alone, in well, a space. Well, uh, well, right. Well, right. I mean, let me look up dummy because you might be right. Because I mean, they basically, I mean, they kind of, they kind of have to be. Unless uh... element ain't non dummy. Okay, an element, an element is a non dummy. Dummy representing the fuck where they operate in the same standard. There might be a rule. It's it it will complicate rules a little, but it will prevent this situation if you because you you have it's I go you go right. So let's say it still limits some things, but but not that much. If the active player moves a stack of dummies and only dummies into line of sight of enemy, he just need to reveal these are only dummies and then remove them from map, and the other side does not need to reveal you your units, right? Even if they are dummies, I would guess. Because that, that will just limit the gaminess. And you still can create dummy stacks, but mostly for defensive purposes, not offensive. But that makes sense, I guess. I just don't, uh, at this point, just don't overthink it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it, they, you know, uh, and anything that would reveal them makes them go away. That's it. Just keep it. Yeah, I know, That's but fine. but I I you know I try they just to don't exist. Situation. So... I know, but they don't exist and can spot well, they can't... the way you. Yeah. I, 
they don't see. spot units. I don't think they can. I mean, another they can't on their own. So if you had, again, yeah, look, at, look, at, look at what I got. I mean, and, and just by that fact, you would be saying it's a dummy. You know what I mean? Like this guy Maybe. cannot auto spot that. They they don't have spotting capabilities. They're dummies. They're not elements. They're actually not considered elements. Yeah, I know, but. Okay, that, I may be overthinking it. Okay, so let's play. So I assume in our situation here that and here, guys, auto spot, there. right? So I reveal. Now, well, here's let's, the thing. They're play. on a different level and they're behind. I mean, this is the thing. Yeah. I would think that these guys have an advantage because they are on their, like a hardened wall. That this yeah, they at have. Least, at least cover. Well, you have cover of cars, too. So I, yeah. I would think so that, that you, you have a cluttered thing i think we both are revealed though yeah let's let's say for the sake for the sake of rules that they spot each other right so it's like yeah, five so. let's not think for now what type of terrain blocks or not oh or unless you want yeah because this is another thing i don't know if they I don't, don't it might them. depend on oh you know what this actually might depend on the quality level because it depends if if you can spot guys on the higher level i i agree with you that these guys would be easier to spot especially from higher level than these guys right this guy these guys might spot them uh, well, the before point they being, before they spot them right you know i think they need to be on the same level and i think a lower I, mean, I don't think you can be I don't think you can be lower and spot them unless they've fired I, uh, yeah I will read through it and then we can discuss so like, oh, right, if that sorry. makes sense um, or not right <laughs> just hold on I, it's mentioned somewhere but not yeah, okay minimum firing and elevation restrictions some weapons have a minimum firing um um. Plus one, if target space is in the open and the spotting elements are three stories higher or more, you have a better... Yeah, he, he, I think we're overthinking it. It's just an auto spot. If yeah. if if it was a spotting check, like a non-auto, you get a bonus for being three up, and that's it. Don't worry, don't overthink it. I, yeah, I think we're from now, it. I think we're. I, I will overthink it on my own time later. <laughs> <laughs> um, it also so depends just, how complicated game you want, right? <laughs> that's exactly right, and they don't. So. Yeah. And, in, you know, in, not only in this game, but in many other games, my question would be to people who actually train this, how much you can, you know, sneak through the building, spot the other guys. You would probably have a jump on them, stand. but you would give yourself away when you fire. Yeah, exactly. Th when you really move, you probably... The, the fact if you are spotted when you move is probably dependent highly on the quality of troops right how sneaky I, they are yeah, i exactly. guess and I, think we do, I think we do need to go look at let, let, let me see something i just the auto spotting i think needs a caveat i, I think the auto spotting needs at least a, a bullet item that says this is checked after movement in other words spotting does not occur for me movement. for me auto spotting should be at the end of the movement when, when I, the at least finish, for now until we get clarity on it yeah Yep. No, it it makes sense to me, like because then all, what about all all units would move simultaneously. Let's go read here's, Overwatch. Here's over. how here's how I would do it. You know how I would do yeah, it. Yeah, but just okay. No, I would just say because I assume all of these guys move simultaneously, right? The the units are advancing, so normal rule would be you can you, first you need to finish your move and at the end of your move uh right but, but the overwatch shit uh okay, i don't know read, you know I'm, what I'm reading, i would just let me read it real quick mm -hmm. okay elements that have not moved can place in, can be placed into overwatch in the action phase place an overwatch marker next to the element 
the element may not partake in fire attacks in the firefight phase while in Overwatch. Dummies can also receive Overwatch markers to increase fog of war, but risk being discovered if the Overwatch is triggered. So in other words, so that basically is telling me that things happen while things move. When, when in Overwatch, an element may interrupt the movement of opposing elements within their line of sight and conduct a fire attack after a successful spotting roll, if required. So that's interesting too. So it's not an auto spot, but it would be if it, it, it's not an auto spot either. Overwatch is not an over, an auto spot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, good. Like it, it oh, has yeah, to still yeah, follow yeah. the rules. Remove the Overwatch marker once an Overwatch fire attack has taken place. By the way, so they're okay. they're in Overwatch unless they specifically move to stop it. Do you know what I'm saying? So they they can sit there yeah. and remain in Overwatch. That's pretty cool too. All right. Yeah. No, I would assume Overwatch yeah. stays until you so move or I mean, on something else. Yeah. legitimately do that all right so let's, they were saying that you did that the previous turn you stayed in all right um all right so according to that you can fire at these guys that came in um ultimately you can fire at them when they're here you got rid by doing that you by just by doing that you auto revealed them i think and then the yeah I will assume when they and fire then now you can fire on this guy so let's go to firefight and let's go through a fire of this guy, right? Yep. Okay. Let's so go to your rules. Let's go look sheep. at. Let's do this. Do what? Let's let's shoot some sheep. Oh, I thought you said. I wish I had a cheat sheet. Is what I thought you said. Oh uh, no no no. Uh, <laughs> kind of do anyway. Well, that's what I'm trying to work on. All right. Um. So let's look at your chance to hit. Firing procedures. Fire attacks are resolved in two stages first by determining if the target space was hit and only then. Okay, declare the fire attack. State all the firing elements. Reveal all firing elements, by the way. If the target is hidden, the firing element must make a spotting roll. I'm not I'm not gonna do that because you basically are auto revealed at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the way I'm ruling that. Because you're within five mm -hmm. and you're because you're and but I'm in the open, so that's actually you actually have up to ten, so Honestly, you probably saw me here, but whatever. We're not mm, from again. here, yeah, I would see you here in the open. Yeah. If, you, mm -hmm. if you perform so, this, I would So that see automatically you. got rid of the previous dummy, dummy that was sitting with me. So now you're firing. All right, so let's do that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so but resolve each fire attack in sequence, starting with the strongest firepower. You're only one. Roll a d10 to determine if the target has been successfully engaged. If a modified result is one to five, then there is no effect. The result is six to ten. What did you roll? Okay, that would One. be. Let's go look. That's a no effect. Yeah. That means you did not suppress either. So it just kind of as I was jumping in there. Yeah. Which was kind of realistic, I think. They would have been. Uh, yeah, they the would've... guys might have looked looked somewhere else and they didn't spot them when they were jumping right, out cool. right, or something. All right. So this guy. Is no longer revealed because he's inside. Um, <laughs> these guys are apparently walking along the edge of the building. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like these guys yeah. would not be spotted. These guys would not be spotted unless they're actually Probably not. on yeah. the edge firing or in Overwatch. Right? Yeah, like I would they, assume. If they, if these guys put themselves into Overwatch, they would be valid targets. I Probably think. if they yeah now firing, now we overthink if they now fire, we overthink it a little mm, but yeah that I don't know <laughs> it's just like what the hell's a roof for then you know what I mean like, like what's a roof for no to have to have I mean, higher point it, and uh, better line of sight yeah but that depends how far the guy this is a three story effort Ooh. yeah here's the thing it it depends so this guy how does, high yeah. how high bonus. the guys are taking their heads over the edge right and that pretty much in my opinion depends on the training and quality right <laughs> if this was now what we probably need to start depicting in these terrain is whether they, they have hardened walls on the roof and i think that's what ed actually said is that is that unless the building and i can't remember actually i was talking to kevin williams <laughs> oh, was it kevin no no it was another fight club member and and he, um Will, I think it was Will, and he—he's, you know, we we were playing combat mission, 
And he's like, do not use the walls of the roofs unless it's a hardened material. <laughs> so you can get hit. Like if you, but these guys would be back here. These guys would be here. You know, these guys would be sitting here if they didn't want to get seen. They would be, you yeah. can, you either are making yourself seen by firing or you're making yourself seen by being an overwatch, I think is the house rule. Okay. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of. I, I think that that makes more sense, but whatever. Okay, we can house rule that another day. All right, um, or whatever, or not. Uh, all right, so that worked. I thought that worked pretty well. Yeah. What time, what time do we got here? Eight thirty. All right, uh, we'll do a couple more actions here. Um, that was all mine, right? What about actions? I might. I mean, this, I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, I think what we needed to kind of determine was what firepower this guy has. Actually, it's on the thing. It's an HE2. I'm sorry, I totally screwed that up. If you look at the LM, it's got a 2 on it. So that's an HE2 combat power. So that oh, makes, okay. that makes sense. Um, can you use H You can definitely use HE versus infantry. So I technically could attack somebody, but I might not yet. Um... I think it's the same. I think against infantry or soft targets, it, it just takes the same quality, combat value, right? I mean, the HE2 would be against a, an armor value. Of, you know, there's, there's an armor comparison when you're trying to go against an armored unit. Yeah, HE, um, especially on the drone, ex against a vehicle like the armored vehicle. Probably yeah, so you look here, you see. Nothing, or it can, it can no, just right suppress here. it. It's probably. right here. It's usually a suppressive move. See, yeah. see right here? And then small arms can actually suppress too, potentially. And there's some other there's some other modifiers to that too. Here. Yeah, I I will read through the rules because like I others. like this rule set. It just needs some tweaking and some questions how complicated we want it to be. In some and respect. I think we should right. like whenever we start talking and we start talking more than a sentence about it. Just then, then we should just drop it. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but was, the, the was... auto spot and the uh, when auto spot should occur is actually important. when auto spot should occur is a valid question. I think is is a valid it's important a question. Yeah. And I, you move everything. I learn. To... I lean towards it's as you move. Yes, um, but then you need to have a rule that when you move, you need to move the whole stack and. Not not single units. If you want, well, to here's move the thing. Stack. You know what? You know what? I think it is end of move. But the only thing that can interrupt it though is someone in Overwatch. Because right very... now, yeah, right now we are leaning towards the rules of the lock and load. What's the name? You you played yeah. the computer version. Yeah, lock yeah. Load because this digital. this forced you to move the stack, and then the stack is attacked. So you don't use single units to probe. I guess. Maybe yeah. yeah, that's 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 good good topic for discussion. But and the other right question now. we had, and let's openly say it, was whether or not I mean dummies do dummies auto spot. I don't I don't know. I I mean how to and does that happen during movement? Like in other words, if you're coming out and into a building, if you're going out an aperture and in an aperture. Um, exactly. Also, the other question then is, can you actually go in and out of a yellow in the same turn? That's a very yeah. good question too, because that's going in and out of a window. You know, this isn't this isn't a door. So yes, I don't but feel the, like the main thing, if you enter, oh, you know what? There is a difference. If it's a friendly controlled, then yeah, then you can. It's, then it's just a cover. If it's a if it's an enemy control, it's an obscure. That there is yeah, because I wanted to say to say the the thing mm. that limits your movement in buildings. If it's unknown building, you go slowly because you need to check every corner Correct. and clear right. it, right? So if this but, was enemy controlled or or blue hadn't been in there before, then this I wouldn't have been able to just jump in there. Yeah, okay. and if it's controlled, you should just move to it. Yeah, you are right. If if there is your unit in it, or even in adjacent, I would say. If, if you have, because just to limit tracking, because it will be hard for you to track if you already clear this, unless you want to create a bunch of counters that you will place in each space, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it would just be if, if your unit is in the space or in adjacent spaces, even maybe including the diagonal one, 
these spaces can be entered freely, right? Like with normal movement, does does not hinder you if if you have green. your unit. Green, yeah, green, or yeah. even yellow. I, I would say even yellow. If if there is your unit in the space, yes, or exactly, exactly. You can exactly. you can enter adjacent spaces with normal yes, movement, I, right? I think and that's, do I not think that, stop. Was, that was our intention. All right, so let's go. Um, anything else I needed to do here? Where am I at? Uh, I'm on actions. I think he. I don't know if I would move this. There's nobody else in the open. That's the thing. I might move him over here just to be ready for something coming up this way or something. Whatever. Well, you know what? I am going to stay over here because I'm trying to. I'm trying to spot things that. I'm just going to move back here a little bit. I'm trying to spot anything coming out here to that would harm these guys coming up. Um, or at least that's the intention. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's all that. Uh, there is no fire fight, or is this guy? This guy is in the open, and I can hit him. Yeah, these guys can fire. You guys... already fired. You take this off. Now you're normal. Uh, okay. Um, right, because you used it. I think, I think uh, that's okay. when it comes this off. This works like this. It, okay. it comes off or you move and you lose it. You, you either move and you lose it, or yep. you use it and you lose it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> you can quote me on that, everybody. All right, um, so I'm going to fire on you, I guess with a marksman and a rifle from the roof here. Um, let's start with the, um, let's start with the marksman. Makes more sense. So he's got a three. So let's go through the process of the firefight. All right, so da -da 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 -da. no spotting needed because you were already spotted because you did your overwatch fire to hit modifiers. Um, my troop quality is higher, so I get one. So that's one for each element in the target. We don't get that if if the target is on the roof and firing element is same height. If if targeted if firing element is adjacent or not adjacent negative. If yeah of line negative three of line of sight to target is via black. Okay, we don't have that. We're not through a yellow. We're on the roof. There's no smoke, smoke or dust markers between us. Cluttered terrain between? No. No. Mm. I don't know. No, we're not bound. Last one for each element in target space that is suppressed. No, nothing. Negative three if target is a drone. Nope. Cover value light. So I take my, I'm back down to zero. I'm assuming that's a light cover. Yeah, I need a medium, I need light or middle. Let's just call it light. So that takes away my my quality modifier. All right, so we're pretty much evened up to zero for modifiers, and then and then I just rolled the hit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Right. No friendly fire. So pretty much a fifty percent chance of hitting at that point. <clears throat> Which is pretty, pretty accurate. I would think, yeah, he definitely hits. And now I roll to wound, right, or kill. Mm -hmm. Four, I think it's just a suppression. I think you got lucky there. Uh, yeah, we are suppressed. And where? Okay. That means you can no longer fire. Mm -hmm. Well, because you're basically getting the hell out of dodge a little bit and behind the car yep. is better. Um, so technically that makes you not able to do your firefight. So okay. um, uh, do I do I okay. When you get it to get it. You, I remove it automatically in some phase or do I roll my quality? You remove that. No, no, no. It's um it's stated right here on your thing. Mm -hmm. Um okay. it's remove see that yeah, remove suppression. suppression. And at that point so, you get a disrupted modifier, a disrupted marker, and then you have to roll to and then you have to roll to rally basically. In order okay. like like once you remove that, that becomes a distressed and then as you try to take an action, as you try to move or do an action, 
then you have to roll to see if you can activate. And it's pretty okay. easy. I think you just got to get, I think you just got to get below your, below your initial quality. Yeah. yeah that and that's sense. why the, you have to get a four or below, which is not easy. But if a leader's next to you or in the same space, yeah. it, it, it's easier. <laughs> It's not is there like a, is there squad, a, is there a squad leader. leader squad leader was all, always weird to me that you you cannot, you know, rally troops unless you have leader in hex with them. <laughs> right, you have a chance of rallying, self rallying, self <laughs> kind self of crazy. Self motivation. Yeah. We're working on self motivation in the red on the, with the reds. All right, so um, that's that. But I get to fire with the. Oh, you know what? I think I actually. You probably, have, you probably need to combine. Yeah, okay. yes, if they were both, and they would have. So that would have been a total of four. Now, actually, that makes it... That was just for hit, right? What do you take? Where's the... Hold on. You rolled for hit, and that was mm -hmm. for damage. Yeah, but hold on. Oh, roll a D. Adding the element's firepower, and then applying any modifier from the table. So... Resolve each fire attack. Determine the initial attack profile by adding the element's firepower, applying any modifiers to get a final plus or minus value. Okay, okay, so, so then you roll it and the modified. All right, so we definitely hit you. Okay. <laughs> that's all. That's, it, we hit you extra good. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, and then you were supposed to do the roll for the suppression, for the. Yeah, but the wound. Yeah, yeah. You have to basically whether or not, you know, whatever. I guess it's really just kind of give you something to do, really. Much. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, um, so I can do something. Yeah, I feel like you're <laughs> taking part and getting hit. That's, um, that's, so that's that. So there wouldn't, in other words, there wouldn't be a second fire. It's a, all combined. Anything firing on that target hex fired at the same time. Mm -hmm. What's interesting, and again, this is probably whether or not you want to get simulations or not, is if you had crossfire. You know, in other words, yep. if you had from a certain variance, like if you had somebody here firing on them and here firing on them, maybe you get a plus um, plus from plus. from two different yeah. angles. You yeah. you get modifiers, sure. Probably whatever house rule. Um, yeah. All right, that's cool. That worked. Yeah. Do you want to? Um, all right, you already got your drone. Um, yep. But we're not doing any of that. Oh, you know what? I didn't pull mine. I didn't roll for mine. I do. Is that a seven? No, it's a one. No. I, do not, I do not get mine. All right. Um, so my toy, my next toy didn't come out. All right. Yep. Okay. I think it's your turn to move. Let's go through this whole turn, at least. How about? Yep. How about you just... Yeah. Good questions that we have. My move. I would probably. Oh, and does these guys probably they have line of sight because you fired? They probably see you, right? Because this is yeah. They're auto. One, these two, guys are three, auto field on top. This guy in here is not. He's inside uh, on the first floor. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. But because these guys, what was the auto spot? You said it is five. Yeah, so you got them. Cover. So they yeah, would guys be on the roof spotted. or they're inside? No, they are inside. Yeah, they that's would fine. Be spotted. But One, two, three, you need four, to do it from five. here, not here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, still. I have. I mean, unless it's just, fire. unless you're just going to use one. Are you just going to fire with this guy through the through the rabbit, the uh, rat hole? I can. I, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, just uh, this go. guy here could probably technically also fire at the guys at, at the that are higher, right? I yeah, think these he... guys are already revealed, so yeah. So he could shoot through through up the to four people, one. Up to four people in this room can fire through there. So guy with low and this MMG could oh, fire Jesus. at you here, right? Yeah. And my question is because this is one to does the elevation add to the range for spotting? Like it is plus one, or you only count spaces? I, I you only count spaces. There are some rules. There is a rule. Let's look. I'll show you where it is. So like. they would be one, two, three, four, five. So these guys would be able to spot it as well. Look I right think. here. These okay. there are minimum 
there are minimum firing and elevation restrictions. Some weapons have a minimum firing distance for or elevation restrictions. Okay. Also, make sure. I think for your, you're saying a law. Is that right? Yeah, that's. Uh, there is a minimum. There is a minimum. Spread them. Back blast effects. Firing a law or maul inside yeah, a structure right. will cause the inadvertent suppression. <laughs> By the way, you gotta watch out. You have back blast yeah, effects. Back, but, uh, right. Okay, so you need to be outside. Okay. So screw, screw it. it it's okay, only on. the, And the minimum firing distance is three for law. So is Ooh, that... three. That's a lot. <laughs> These are supposedly like 50 meters each. Yeah, so it should be 20 meters, 20 meters. At adjacent. It should fire to adjacent or two, in my opinion. Let me go uh, three, maybe. I don't know. Never shoot one, so <laughs> <laughs> now is your chance, sir. But Never but really. you know, I I I seen they they tend to throw, with RPG sevens. People tend to fire them very close to tanks, and I'm not talking movies. I'm talking like go. Well, they get suppressed. <laughs> you can do it, but everybody gets suppressed in the area. Ah, okay. <laughs> Fine. So that son of a bitch, Tom fired his damn RPG, didn't he? I okay, I I will. I, I will tell you that the the movies where I seen them it was single guys or, or two men section sneaking. And what he's tight. also saying so was that's in, inside. Yeah, if you fire that. Yeah, when he's thing, inside, he won't damage. shoot. No, 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 he won't shoot. <laughs> I mean, that, when I would inside. assume that I would assume that most Kevlar helmets do have some sort of noise suppression in them, right? I mean, it's, as, yeah, oh, some... it's it's not noise is one thing, but there is a lot it, the it's whole overpressure plus yeah, 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 the yeah. heat from it. Right, you, and, you and would you even? Long and closed spaces. No, you will be you will be shocked pretty pretty well. And it's not noise suppression. You need probably. Yeah, I almost I do feel like those. Men, I, I, I do feel like just at least how this is represented that that's a pretty that's a pretty significant restriction, right? Like let's right. Like where the hell? God, every time I look, every time I find a rule, I mm -hmm. lose it. Um. Oh, here we go. Law is three, Maul is four, ATGM is six. And that's the ATGM is fair. A ATGM that's is like a javelin fair, right? because that's a javelin firing at a high out, uh, high trajectory, correct? Javelin, Usually. javelin, I think has. I, oh, I actually know this because I read the manual. You, you can you can freely find manual to javelin, and I read it. Actually, javelin has two modes. You can fire it either in high trajectory or in direct fire, but still it needs good 50 meters, I think, to c clear the space from which oh, that's fire. Right. Thank you for arm for itself. I was it, it to needs range out. to arm itself and take guidance. I mean, Give me you know, second. start guidance and acquire target. It takes okay. a space of... contains a 3D square at level. These are 20 meter spaces in, in North America. Europe is 10 meter spaces, 10 meter by 10 meter. So these oh, the edges okay, are 10 meter. These oh, 10 meter. Feet, that, 30 that's 30 feet. OK, yeah. So that I mean, makes that, sense. That makes yeah. sense. But the, but serious, but sincerely, though, I can understand there being a I can understand there being a modifier, but um, maybe there is an activation thing I'm not thinking about for. For what? For I don't know. I oh my God. for you know what? I don't. It might be fifty meters because yeah, the all RPGs and like low type weapons, the. The warhead is arming away from. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call these twenty meters. I mean, this is just. Yeah, ten meters is small. I mean, again, not it's, lots it's of game. space. And I'm... I can tell you, the low type weapons, the the warhead is armed. And I can't remember if it's 50 meters. I don't think it's 50 meters, but it's, it's they have right. minimal, they have minimal range where it's not. Activated, activated or armed, <laughs> and I know this. I know this for a fact because we had in Poland situation uh, where it was showcased where where guys survived thanks to this. But it was an idiot. Maybe. <laughs> no, so I, I will. I will tell you it later <laughs> because no, no. You know what? Oh, it, 
I, I don't want to go sidetracked. I will tell you later because right. it, it, it was a really embarrassing situation and really. All right, so let's get uh, through your. What's the word? Yeah. Let's get through the rest of your moves. Go ahead and do your moves. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, oh, right. So I would fire at you then with O and yeah, wait. Actually, oh, and actually, these guys also could. So you're not moving, you're saying? Any of them? No, I'm not moving. I, I'm, def okay, I'm so in defense. There's okay, no... so you're, hold on. So you're done with your moves. You're into your actions then. So what are your actions? Yeah. Any actions? Any leaders doing anything? Any... Uh, leader would probably, I don't know how it works fully, but leader would probably send the drone. I understand this is only the recon drone or the, it, it, is it a suicide drone? Because so recon, I would recon. I would send a drone somewhere here. I don't know how far you drone. Low, and you would do low altitude with it, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm doing it in low so altitude. But I don't know how far it can see. Well, it you look on page, there's a chart of it. It's actually pretty significant. At high, it's significant. Oh, you do it like a normal unit at that point. In low, it, it basically acts as a normal unit. In other words, your spotting is exactly the same. So you're, it's as if you're on the ground, but you're not. So, mm -hmm. so you would spot pretty much all of these. Yeah. You would auto spot them. Yeah, the now, question is, can they the shoot at the drone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and well, stuff like this. Well, there would be a capability card for that, is what. Yeah, okay. I mean, really. You gotta, so it's you not, because we, we probably will play to the end of this turn, right? And yeah. not yeah, for now. Okay, yeah. so, so I will just send it here. Let, let's just. I think, you know, I mean. Perform I, I, this fire. I would on, think on that turn. I have a. I would think that I can fire at it with small arms, but at a negative three. I think it was a negative three did or something. Yeah, probably. And, okay. and you would. Yeah, something like this, probably. And then being low, you're spotting. Low. I mean, you might not want to do that just because of that very reason what you just said, and you have nobody that has line of sight to fire. Yeah. So you might not want to do that. I'm just saying you probably wouldn't do that, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. If this is all open, you would absolutely. Yeah. Just then somebody down here could fire. On. <clears throat> well, see, that's the thing. There's, there's the auto spotting is so reasonably good, if you will. You know. Yeah. How, ben how beneficial is. is the drone? I mean, the drone. I mean, it's just letting you know. It's really, I mean, all these are revealed now. You know who's coming. That, that's the main thing, ultimately. These these all have to reveal. So these would all be revealed yeah. to you. You know what's coming. That's its benefit. Not even necessarily that you're firing at them. You know what they are. I mean, you kind of had probably an idea that they're squads worth of infantry, but you don't know. You don't know how many were dummies. So are any of these dummies that go away? Yeah. That's yeah. one other thing. That's one other use of the drone. You just got rid of the dummies too. So many more dummies back in here. No. Yeah. Yeah. So the well, overall recon, right? Yeah, it's useful. All right. Um, so that's all that. Anything else movement-wise before you start firing? These no, squads? I would. I would not move. Probably okay, no so one else. These, so these guys are firing on this square. Yeah, and this guy would also fire I, I i think he's able to yes so you add up all those Ooh, wow holy shit mm -hmm. that's an mmg oh fuck okay so that's wow okay so four five six oh wow you're definitely gonna hit right probably <laughs> and, and that's is that the one thing i it's is it it's per element Right, that's that's mm -hmm. the other bad thing about being in the same square is you're, you're you're adding all that up and it goes against each one individually. So let's let's look at <clears throat> the two hit. Let me let me just verify this to make sure I'm doing it right. <clears throat> the phase where better revealing hitting movement. Blah blah blah. Let's go through the firefight. Just. Fire for phase L which will only reveal, only reveal the poison. The speculative fire is not allowed. Use the center of space. We did all that. Firing through friends. We're not doing that. Firing. Precision elements such as marksmen will target a single element, but the remainder will target the space. This means the fire can affect all elements. Yet we do it as a whole. We don't do it individually. From 
what I can tell. Mm-hmm. In other words, you're firing at the whole space and everybody's going to take the same effect. That's pretty, yeah, that's why you don't want a bunch like we're doing. You want to be able to hide yourself maybe as a group and fire as a group. But no. you don't want to stick here as a target as a group. So, yeah. right. mm-hmm. so seven plus seven. Where's your roll? Is this your roll? No, I didn't roll yet. Roll. I was waiting for the roll. All right, so three plus seven, you definitely hit. So these guys are hit, and then I roll for damage. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, do I... Now, damage is... Is it, is it everybody? All right, whatever. I think it's everybody. Oh, fuck, they're killed. They're gone. <laughs> these guys are oh, shit. down. They, they're just not like even that. casualties, they're gone. That's chaotic. Oh. They just okay. got mauled by a mach- medium machine gun and a shit. Two, like machine a light machine gun and a rifle. Yep. Right. And grenades. That's the da- that's the I mean we just didn't know that you had that much heavy firepower right there and got yeah. mauled. Alright, so that's that. Is there anything else you're doing? Um, no, I, I don't think I can. You would basically... And I, I, I would flip them, right? <laughs> yeah, just do it like that, and then, and then flip it. Do F. Use F as well, once. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, this guy everybody, also... I think, pretty much, yeah, you just pick it up. You can also just try to pick it up, and then you gotta flip it sometimes. Yeah, by the way, because when guys are suppressed, they can do anything. That, well, okay, so they would need to stay here and can't even move, right? Right, but and then you okay. look at your thing as to when. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, because I, I I'm removing it, here. but the question is after when. firefight. You just did it, so you move. You remove the suppression. You put it disrupted there. So hold on, let me get you one of those. Let's talk about that real quick. So this this gets removed, and then you now disrupted which means you have to roll to activate so when uh, okay. in the net as you come around here and you mm-hmm. start to try to move then you have to make then you have to check if you can move and so i would now right or is it on, no, in the next it's, it's oh. only when you do something okay so if you didn't move and you were going to try an action you still need to you still need to get rid of that by rallying okay it's a cool rule i think yeah I like it. No, it's it's a good rule. I was just interested the po- the the moment you do it. You're disrupted until you get to the, well disrupted. You can you you can still try things. Suppression, you can't even try them. You know what I'm saying? When you're suppressed, you can't do them. When you're okay. disrupted, you can try to do. Them. Yeah, Does that okay. make sense? That makes that yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So these guys could do nothing. This oh. movement phase, nor right. the action phase, and in the admin phase, I mm, also... No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. You had just finished your firefighting. Right? Yeah, I did. And then you got to the remove suppression. So you removed it, and now they're disrupted. They can try anything at that point. Ah, okay. So I, I exchanged this for disruption. Correct. Correct. Ah, okay. You already did it. And so you're now able, they... you're able to attempt anything at this point. But you okay, have to rally. but yeah, okay, fine. But but <clears throat> next turn, pretty much, right? In admin well, phase, you I have nothing. Uh... You have nothing else you can do right now because you're okay. Yeah, on, so that would be that would be end of my turn. Yeah. You're right. It's that's why they put it at the end of the fire You see that? And then yeah, yeah, point, that makes yeah, yeah, at, yeah. That makes sense. At this okay. point, we would also do the close quarter battles. You see how it says. CQB. Yeah, yeah, I see. C- 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 That's the absolute last thing. And then read what this says. Yeah, adjustment of market strikes, hide or reveal friendly enemy elements based on current loss. So oh, we that's it right there. Right, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we did that wrong. No. Hold on. Oh, that's based on any changes. Now that this is like an administrative thing to change. Yeah. That, that this is like hiding the ones that no longer are being. Automated. Yeah, but that makes sense. You do it okay, at yeah, the yeah, yeah, end of the turn, right? Sense, right. Sense. Yeah, makes sense. All right, I think that's it. Let me okay. save. Let me save this just in case we want to continue. I think.
Yeah, that's true. Right here. Um, let's call this Tom and Pete. Save. All right, cool. Um, I think we we. So, what were the two main questions we had? Was whether what were those two main questions? Whether revealing Ooh. revealing only occurred at the end of movement. Yeah, sense. or during movement. Well, the only one that can do that is an Overwatcher. That will, yeah, because that will drive the timing of Overwatch fire. Right, Overwatch occurs as you, as the person tries to move. So, so in other words, yeah, you can either stop them cold there, or you can wait and stop them at some point during the move. That's the way I judge it. Yeah, right. but, then but then you need but, to enforce the question, movement of uh, the question, stack. though. The question though is that is is auto spotting done after movement? Yeah. Do you do okay, it after all the of end. the movement or during the movement of a stack? In if so, then do you force like stack movement, right? Right. If you're gonna if you're moving from one place and intending to all end up at the same end, yes, it would be a stack move. Yeah, that would make sense. If you're then. moving individual ones and you're going somewhere else, then you just do that separately. Yeah. yeah. Now, the other question, what was our question about dummies? Can they auto spot? <laughs> and my and, can, and can, can, they, can they be placed uh, well, the, by the themselves? Two. And that's, can they spot? Well, they, I think, yeah, I, my guess is yes, they can be placed by themselves. And my other yeah, guess is... Yes, they can auto spot, but they're auto, but they're auto, but they're auto. Yeah, it's a good question. It's a good question. It kind yeah, of because you, of that because of that kind of game. If, thing if you move about. stack of dummies inside the auto spot place, can, can they there. like trigger trigger the other unit to be spotted, right? And then even if they don't, then you're then what the hell's a dummy? You know, what I mean, then you're auto. You're if you're within auto spot and you don't auto spot. You're revealing yourself as a dummy anyway. <laughs> you know yeah, I, mean? I know, but yeah, I, I, I know what you are saying, and it only makes sense then if you also, if the other unit on the other side is not a dummy, because you are showcasing, okay, I have dummies, but then I know what is in the other space. The other right? part of the question, though, is whether or not you can be deployed on your own, which. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think I they think should be, that, especially yeah. in defense, they should be. My only beef with that is that you can then abuse them game wise yeah uh, at yeah, least in offense I, yes only I, on the offensive side you can abuse them game wise to just recon the enemy positions right i i think that which makes little sense <laughs> like the only way to stop life. that really from a clean ruling would be to say that they need to be with a physical unit but um it makes I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll I mean, my it. only my only points here. What you can do is that if you move such a stack, or if if in any situation it turns out, f first of all, it would be on the active players' uh, oh, the other shoulders. If if the active player, I, I would make this rule. If the active player, first of all, when you go, when you move your units. Um, the active and there is auto spotting situation. The player whose turn it is shows his units first, right? And if it turns out he has only dummies, that's a great way. To, that's a that's a that's a process correction. Yeah, I agree. No, I that's agree. that's that's a fairly easy process because the active player shows yeah, active you player his unit first, you and if first. it turns out there are only dummies in yeah. a space, he just You're removes them, and the other player does not need that's to leave. That's that's a that's perfect. That's a, that's how I think that that it should be. Done. Yeah, that that right. that, the that other is question, the easiest way we can we can trump it, right? The other question we had was was obscure was line of sight and smoke oh uh, yeah smoke uh, um, right now if it's certain, there, are certain, or there are certain rules that say there are certain rules that imply it's more of an obscuring um it's which is fine it, but for me for me it's only because i i haven't read the rules yet right so my only <clears throat> questions to it is do we want 
how much we want make smoke complicated, right? <laughs> Do I want it to want... be simple. I want it to be, it's there. It's Me too. Line, it's it's but... only the level because I think they probably should be like two levels of smoke. Like this well, there's, first there's smoke normal and... and there's the IR blocking. So it's yeah, IR exactly. Is... The... Yeah, but IR, but is it only a difference that IR blocking works the same, but also well, here's the, thing. the IR no. It's more of a, see? okay, let's just say there's one of these in here, right? If there's an MBT here, he can see through it. It doesn't block. No, no I understand. My, my only question was if, if it's only, the difference is it's only block IR vision uh -huh. and that's all, because... I think maybe there should be two levels of smoke, like dispel smoke, that only well, there is. does there, not there... block line of sight but hinders your vision. Okay, and I mean, that's another way. To, that's another way to have through. And there is a dispersing. And I, I maybe you're right. Maybe, okay. maybe this blocks line of sight and this does not. But then otherwise yeah. they both, otherwise they are obscuring for for the two hits, like uh, the spotting. Yes. Uh, so, so this blocks line of sight this is added together for the spotting modifier yep i i that's how i would rule it that's how i would judge it yeah it just mm -hmm. out of box judge it that's how i would do it so yeah we can ask Ed if he agrees with that or not it's fine cool all right we've saved it all right have a good one man. yeah have a good one Bye. uh hold on you, you stopped recording <laughs>